Okay guys, so today I'm gonna to show you my tattoos, every single one of them and why I got them. Oh my gosh, tattoos are a sin. I'm not gonna argue with you guys tonight. No, we're not gonna talk about that tonight. But they're not. Tattoos are not a sin. This was ancient law back in the Old Testament, back when they were worshiping false gods, paganism, where they were cutting themselves and sacrificing themselves for their gods. But we're not gonna get into that. So let's go through each tattoo I have and why I got them. Gosh, I actually have to take my shirt off. Like, guys, do not judge my body, okay? It's holiday season. Okay, so first tattoo I ever got right here. Do not judge my stomach. It is holiday season. See, if you can see it, it says repent. I got this tattoo for obvious reasons. We need to repent before our Lord. We need to repent to God of our sins. We need to turn away from our sins. It was one of the first tattoos I ever got because it was a word that was so important to me. It's a word that's so important to someone who's being reborn and walking a new life with Christ. I have it right on my rib cage, the hardest spot to get it. I got it my first tattoo, but man, it hurt. But yeah, first tattoo is repent. Second tattoo I got right here says, Per Spiritum Sanctum, it's Latin, and this is a dove. It means led by the Holy Spirit. I'm led by the Holy Spirit. I am not afraid to proclaim that. I am led by the Spirit. This is what being reborn is all about. Jesus Christ died on the cross for you and for me, and I'm gonna proclaim it on my body. Okay, tattoo number three. It's right here on my arm and it's script. It's one of my favorite verses right here. You, can, you can't really see it, but it's script. It's Ephesians 6, 16, and I'll read it for you right now. Take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Let me read that again. Take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. What is this reverse? What is this referring to? It's about having faith. What did Jesus show us when he was here on earth? The perfect example of faith. He trusted the Father in everything that he did. Every miracle that he performed was through faith. He believed the Father could do it and that's what it did. What does he also tell us? We can move, we can literally move mountains with faith. So this verse helps me every single day when the enemy attacks me with his flaming arrows and I put on my shield of faith, trusting in God, trusting that he can protect me, trusting that there's a better plan for me, trusting that I can get through it and that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That's what this verse is about, is defeating the enemy, having faith in God and letting it conquer the enemy. Okay, and this last tattoo I got is pretty simple. It's pretty self-explanatory. Let me show you. Can't really see it, but it says crew. Crew, what does crew mean? Well, that's the name of my three-year-old son. His name is Crew. I love him to death. And you notice on there, there's a period at the end. It says crew, period. So what does that mean? Why did I get it? That means that every single day when I'm going through the hardest part of my day, when I'm going through some tough parts of my life, I think it's all for my son. It's for Crew. Other than God, it's for my son. What I do every single day is for my son. My job as a parent, as a father, is to raise him up to love Jesus. Every day I'm reminded with his name, period, that it's all about crew, period. Don't give up, crew needs you, period. Stop giving in to anxiety, crew needs you, period. You wanna lose? No, don't, crew needs you, period. So that is a reminder every single day. I hope you guys liked my explanation of my tattoos and no, it's not a sin, but we will get into that in the next part of my video. Much love y'all. Hope you enjoyed.